I got two moods. Sleep is for the week, sleeping for a week, I swear. Got two moves, drinking Hennessy, VSOP, and XO. Okay, good morning, guys. It's day four in LA. Uh, this morning I worked out with Brian at Gold's Gym. Gold's Venice has like the best atmosphere, the best vibe ever. Like truly enjoyable. We hit arms. Now I'm going to get food and then I'm going to Santa Monica to do a podcast with Amanda Bucci. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> so I found this place like day one when I got here and I had to try it out because everything looks super fresh. I've been eating really good since being here. So I got avocado tomato salad, red quinoa, broccoli. It's like a potato salad with some vegetables, piece of garlic bread, grilled chicken breast. $21 though. I gotta tell you, ever since I've transitioned my diet from like emphasizing flexible dieting and hitting macros and really fitting whatever you want in your diet and hitting those macros to more of like a micronutrient dense approach, I feel so much better. I'm still like within a ballpark of macros subconsciously, but like focusing on foods like fruits, vegetables, avocados, specifically avocados, I just feel really good. I got you, my man. Oh, thanks, man. No I appreciate problem. that. No problem. So yesterday I spent the day with Brendan Myers and uh, honestly a great experience. I learned so much about online marketing. So we worked out in the morning, we grabbed lunch, my first IC bowl ever. And then he took me back to his office and just taught me so much. Like truly eye-opening experience to grow my business. So today also marks two weeks since I've been out of active duty military. Two official weeks as a civilian. Hey bud. Hey bud. See ya. Thank God for Uber on trips like this. It just it saves you so much time and money. Uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not in the alley. I'm I'm right in front of the house uh, on Millwood itself. Okay, I'll see you soon. How you doing? Good. So we got our pre-podcast cold brew, and now for the podcast. What's going on, Beach Radio listeners, and welcome back to another episode. Today's special guest is Nick Bear. He's here. If you would have told me eight years ago that the military was going to have such a huge impact on my life, I would have never believed it. Eight years ago, I signed my contract for an ROTC scholarship with the intention of just doing a four-year commitment, which I did. And when I started YouTube, it was just a hobby. It was a hobby to document my training and nutrition when I first got to Texas because my unit was in Germany, I was on rear D, and I was bored. I never planned to document my entire platoon leader time or building my business. It was just a small hobby because I love training and I love nutrition. But people became so interested in the military aspect of my channel and it became a niche in a saturated, what was and what is a saturated market in the fitness industry. The military created a leverage for me. And whenever people ask if I appreciated and loved my experience, 100%. And documenting the process was just secondary. So ever since I've done that speech for the Raider Project in Dallas, I've wanted to get more involved in, in veteran associations. And I want to stay involved in the military somehow, to some degree. Not being in the military, but helping veterans transition out of active duty life in the civilian sector. Specifically in the entrepreneurship sphere or realm. And I think I can, I think I can help that way. This is my initial thought process. I posted on Instagram this morning that if anyone's transitioning out of the military and ask questions, they can DM me their number. I'll call one person a day and that's how I'm going to start. So for about the past three hours, I've been doing 
complete damage control in the site because last night I stayed up to like one implementing this new platform and I messed up the whole transaction key for our credit card processing company. So no sales have been able to come through for the past 24 hours, but I finally fixed it. So right now I'm in search for food, getting some sort of dinner. Tomorrow morning I'm heading to an Angels game and then I'm staying in that area to meet up with Jake and hopefully attempt to surf. And I'm so tempted to get a tattoo while I'm here. After being on the Venice Boardwalk, I retract my statement about getting the tattoo tomorrow. I'll wait to get back to Austin. So it was definitely like one of those nights where your mind is hungrier than your stomach probably or things you can eat more. So I got teriyaki chicken, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, a side of turkey, a salad. Oh, I thought I got guacamole. It's spicy green salsa, I'm still let down right now. I thought this was guacamole. What's crazy is I planned this LA trip with no plans. Like I didn't have anyone to meet up with at first, like no collabs or anything. And every single day, I've had something scheduled. Because of like networking and collabing and using social media to do that. So my mom just liked my Instagram post. And I knew she had an Instagram, but I didn't know she had to use it. This is the story of the worst social media nightmare a parent could ever experience. So one night, my mom decided to get a bath at home with her cell phone in hand, and she went on Facebook. Well, while she was on Facebook, she accidentally went Facebook Live. And my dad's friend was on Facebook, sees this, calls my dad, tells my dad, tell Linda to get off Facebook Live right now. My mom was Facebook Live, in the bathtub. That's awful. So this is like a two week post army review of everything I've learned very quickly while being on active duty and scaling company. These are a lot of things I talked about with Amanda today in the podcast that like are still in my mind and it still really intrigued me because of the journey and the story with growing our company. So like when I was on active duty, BPN was so hard to handle because we were always in the field, we were always gone, and, and growing and scaling a company while in the military is a very difficult thing. But I highly recommend starting a company as soon as you can, or at least start building some sort of buzz. And that's what I talked to a kid on the phone today that I called, who's transitioning out in six months. I said, start as soon as possible. Start building some sort of buzz, some sort of awareness behind that brand because it takes longer than you think. So like, I thought originally I was going to start BPN in one year, it was just going to blow up. And I remember my dad saying, like, if it was that easy, everyone would do it. Five years later, only in the past like 18 months have we been a truly successful company and growing and scaling pretty fast. And now that I'm out of the military and I have all my time to get dedicate to, all the work I put in the past four and five years prior to this transition two weeks ago is all worth it. Because I can finally do what I really love doing and my passion in, in traveling and building the brand and collabing and networking. So like traveling and meeting people and putting yourself out there. Putting yourself out there is such a huge thing that will, will just drive traffic. So you're not only your personal brand, but your company, which delivers product, service, whatever it is. So in these two weeks time, I've grown so much. I've learned so much from other people. You know, like people are willing to, to help you out. Like yesterday with Brendan and today with Amanda. Like you learn so much from these people that are doing the same things as you and more. And being surrounded by them just like truly motivates you. This LA experience has been amazing. And uh, it's kind of just like just one of the small beginnings of further growing the brand. And I'm excited. I got two more. Sleep is for the week, sleeping for a week, I swear. Got two moves, drinking Hennessy, VSOP, and So my mom just liked my Instagram post. I knew she had an Instagram, but I didn't know she had. Oh my god, why can't I freaking talk?